Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it all started when I started playing basketball, so uh, when I was 13, I kind of got it, uh, that attention uh, from my fellow Filipinos, and now I'm uh, getting closer to my dream and to our dream, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been fun, uh, it's a lot of attention, but uh, I think I'm really thankful for, for all their support, and uh, that those uh, I don't take for granted, and uh, you know, if I make it to the NBA, I'll be the first Filipino, and uh, my dream is to help uh, others uh, to get here too. Kai, how did the workout go today, and what teams have you worked out for throughout the NBA draft process? Uh, this is my uh, seventh, no, eighth workout. Uh, my first one was the uh, Knicks, and then Orlando, Cleveland, Chicago, Atlanta, uh, Pacers. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, putting you on the spot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Pacers, before this, I was in uh, Sacramento and the uh, Clippers. Gotcha. And I uh, worked out today with Pacers. It was uh, really good. It was, it was fun. I was a little short, short but sweet because it was only two players, but uh, we got the, most, got the most out of it. And uh, yeah, it, was a, it was a fun day. How surreal is it to be on the doorstep of a dream that every kid has, but obviously for you, it's, it's, it's one that's pretty realistic. Man, it's, it's amazing. I just uh, treasure uh, every uh, moment and every opportunity I have to get in the, you know, this, this, this facilities, uh, NBA facilities, NBA teams, and uh, it's a dream come true. Uh, when I was young, I never really expected that I would be in this process right now. So every, every second, every day, it's just, I'm just thankful. And I just thank God for, you know, every, every day he gives me. And uh, it's, just, it's just really fun. And uh, the, the experience is great. What, is, what does it mean to represent the Philippines on this stage? I believe you could be like the first homegrown player to, to join the NBA. So what does that mean to you if you get that opportunity? It means a lot. It means, uh, it means so much to me and to my fellow Filipinos. And uh, I mean, the biggest uh, uh, goal for me is to make it to the NBA. But when I look at the bigger picture, the biggest picture, like uh, I want to make to the, I want to make it to the NBA to serve it as an example and inspiration to the younger uh, players, younger athletes back home in the Philippines. Uh, you know, if they can say that if I can make it, so can I. That, that's that's a dream come true for me. You gonna tell them to grow as well? <laughs> <laughs> if it were that easy. <laughs> How was your path coming from the Philippines to the Ignite to uh, Adelaide? How has that molded you and helped you through this free draft process? Do you feel like? Man, it was it was tough. Uh, a lot of challenges, but uh, I think. I believe those challenges uh, really helped me become better and uh, really helped me improve and develop as a player and as a person. And uh, just going through those tough challenges uh, just made me ready for this uh, this process and uh, at this stage. So I'm just thankful for all the good things and also the bad things that happened to me. So. Smaller workouts today, do you like those smaller ones? You can show off your skills a little more. Do you like the bigger settings? What do you prefer in this process? Uh, it really. I don't really, I don't really mind short or long as long as uh, I get out there and uh, showcase my ability and to have fun with the, with the guys and with the coaches and uh, just, just uh, say at the end of the day that I did my did my best and g gave it my all. That's, that's a win for me. Is this your last workout with any team? It is. Are you excited to be done traveling and flying around? <laughs> yeah, it was a yeah, it's a long process, a bit a bit tiring, but it's all worth it and uh, it's, it's been fun. So I can't wait to go back to Atlanta and uh, you know. A little bit uh, chill now. You can hang out with your family on draft mm -hmm. night. Is that your plan? Yeah, of course. Talk about your game a little bit. What do you do real well, and how do you see it kind of being an asset for an NBA team? I mean, I'm a seven foot. Uh, I'm a seven footer, and uh, I would say if I would model my game uh, into an NBA player, I would say a modern day Pau Gasol. That's what I really watch. Uh, seven footer who can pass, who can score, and also has a high basketball IQ. So I try to watch and learn from him. So. I'll say those are my advantages, and I just have to get uh, stronger, faster, and uh, 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 more athletic. So. How'd you land on this design for your arm? <laughs> uh, it, it actually it actually started with my dad because he had a lot of tattoos. Not a lot, but he had some tattoos growing up. So I told him when when, when I get to that age that I want to get a tattoo, I'll get one. So uh, this one's Poseidon. Uh, it's actually because my name Kai means ocean, so it's out of the ocean and. The other ones, it's actually my dad's design. I just stole it from him. I did Hades and it's a fallen angel. So I just I got it when I was in Australia. I, I had some spare time and uh, I just got the tattoos. Very cool. Yeah. How the workouts today? It was pretty good. Uh, it was 
was pretty good. It was a uh, short and sweet. Uh, it's just the two of us, uh, but uh, it was a good photo workout. And then for fans who haven't um, seen you play, how would you describe your, your style? Uh, I would say I'm a, I'm a, a, a skilled a seven footer that can shoot from the outside, and uh, I'm a pretty good passer in my height as well, and I have a high basketball IQ and a uh, pretty good shot blocker. So. And how did playing in the NBL kind of prepare you to? Oh, it really, uh, really helped me a lot. Uh, just the experience, uh, just hanging around with the guys and learning from everybody, starting from my uh, staff, my teammates, and to my coaches and to my opponents. Just the whole year was a was a was a really fun experience. Really learned a lot and really helped me develop and improve uh, as a player. You'd be the first player that was born in the Philippines to make it to the NBA in the history of, of the sport. Um, what's that attention been like back home? And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it all started when I started playing basketball, so uh, when I was 13, I kind of got it, uh, that attention uh, from my fellow Filipinos, and now I'm uh, getting closer to my dream and to our dream, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been fun, uh, it's a lot of attention, but uh, I think I'm really thankful for, for all their support, and uh, that those uh, don't take for granted, and uh, you know, if I make it to the NBA, I'll be the first Filipino, and uh, my dream is to help uh, others uh, to get here too. And during this, this pre-draft process, what are you hoping to show teams? I uh, just hope to show teams what I can do and what I can offer to the team and uh, how good of a player and a, a teammate I am. And uh, I'm, just, I'm, just, uh, I'm just a very thankful guy. I just really appreciate all the opportunities that is given to me. and. Uh, you know, if I get a chance to be in, uh, in an NBA team, I would uh, give my best and uh, give everything I have. And are there any guys that are in the NBA right now currently who you maybe model your game after? Yeah, uh, right now I look at um, uh, a combination of Giannis Antetokounmpo and Nikola Jokic just to have, uh, just to learn from both of those uh, big names and just how, uh, how well they play basketball and how smart they are, how how uh, they make basketball look easy. So just learning from both of them is uh, probably the two players that I really uh, learn from.